In 1890, Cather left Red Cloud and came to Lincoln, where she became a student at the University of Nebraska. And while she was here on campus, she had her picture taken, leaning against a boulder, a boulder that had been given to the university from the class of 1892. Well, that boulder is still here on campus, now in front of the Nebraska State Museum. She left campus after graduating in 1895 and took a job editing the Home Monthly magazine in Pittsburgh. And soon after she got to Pittsburgh, she wrote letters back to some of her college friends making fun of some of the people she was meeting in Pittsburgh. Mr. Axtell met me and timidly approached me. I did not think he could be the man and at first repulsed him with scorn. He was exceedingly cordial and brought me right out home. They live in a beautiful part of the city where the hills are all built up with big ivy-grown houses that are beautiful to see. When we entered the parlor, my heart sank. It is one of the haircloth furniture kind and its only ornament was a huge crayon portrait of Grandpa. But the library is much better. It also contains a picture of Grandpa, but there are also novelists of the milder sort, and I saw Mrs. Axtell reading Harper's, which is encouraging. Now for the sad news. The Puritan maid is not at home. She is over in Waynesburg visiting Aunt Somebody and being coached in Greek preparatory to going to Vassar this fall, not Wellesley. So they say, but I secretly believe they sent her away to save her from my contaminating influence. I am rather glad she is not here. It will give me a better chance to get on to my new role. The room I have must be hers, I think, as it contains three Bibles. Of course, she took three with her, so that makes six. Alas. It also contains many a well-worn copy of the trashy religious novels of E.P. Rowe. I can stand the Bibles, but not E.P. Rowe. That first job in Pittsburgh was just the beginning of her first career as a journalist. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Archives, I'm Andy Jewell.